Blessed morning, blessed morning, people, people, people. Greetings one again. This is Italis One coming at you. Subscribe, like, and share. Go to YouTube, go to Twitter, go to Instagram. Anywhere you can put in, I am Italis. I am Italis. Here I am. What a wonderful Wednesday. Salutation and blessings. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so we're still giving thanks in the month of November. Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, you know, it's a double edged sword, but in the spiritual sense, we still give thanks. Yes, man. So I hope all is well with you guys and hope that. Um, you are in the best of health and you keep pushing keep putting out content keep um, streaming and you will get there you know the goal is um, always to share good content plus to be monetized so that we can get a nice decent reward for our work you know and um, we're still giving thanks for that so today we i'm gonna talk about let me talk about this ai right um tell your story still which is out there and you guys probably know about it it's um been going around for a while right where they had um produced ai artificial intelligence to copy the face features um, biometric where you can screenshot the face and actually place the face on another part of a video or a body and say you were there and you know you wasn't there. So a situation had arise where some teenager had access to the software um, by using AI and they basically did a prank but the prank was of a derogatory nature um, basically cyberbullying um, a particular set of young women in a school environment and when they produce the video they basically uh, text did a chain text where you would call like a chain mail or a chain email but it was in a text version and it went around the school with uh, the girls faces in a pornography type of mail and uh, you know the young girls were embarrassed obviously everybody knew it was fake but they had the, they had a good laugh right which was the fact that they put their face on the particular bodies and made them seem as if they partaked in that act but because of you know young people they up on this technology basically um, it was a good laugh for them eventually after it being circulated I don't know how many times or how many days parents got involved and then law enforcement got involved now the individuals who had basically gotten um, became victims of the situation are still victims right because we all know say when we put those type of things online it is online and the people who had started those uh, email texts 
basically have not been apprehended they are out there still because it's very difficult you know you can follow one text and and then according to how it's done it's very difficult to to trace it or know its origination from where it came right but um the damage is already done so there are other examples but this is the most extreme that has come to light right there was examples um way back even doing um you know before time where people impersonate people to you know putting on masks and things like that for theater you know and um you would think that is the person or even celebrity impersonators you know it's a form of deep fake but in a real life sense we're talking about people who mouths are moving with the picture and basically are put on video right where their, their face and their mouth are moving and they're basically talking so AI has evolved it has evolved right what level it will go to and to how um it will be used is is the question because a lot of people are concerned that you know even though it can be used for the civil civilian right what about the people who are out of society or who are not civilians so to speak are people who are of you know high position you know what i mean who are easily their personality are easy to influence right and then you have to decipher is this the person that we are know are that is the one that is you know well known right because sometimes you know you you hear about this person you, you know them through television our true community but do you really follow and know the person to know that would they ever say something of that magnitude so this is what is transpiring with the ai this is just one aspect but it's a very powerful aspect and it need to be um dissected and look into you understand because even in the bible the bible say in the end time they will send them strong delusion you know what i mean and delusion come from illusion right and and the form of illusion is deep fake right false news um fake news these things are very critical and it's dangerous um you know the prank business is very popular at the moment and sometimes these pranks are dangerous you know i don't knock anybody you know they want to pursue that as a career as a hobby it is just a reality of where the world stage is right now but you know for the most part it is a dangerous profession and ai has been caught up in it and um it is damaging you know especially for the young people who are very um catered to right and they're very homely right they thin skin they're not really they haven't really experienced uh rejection you know to the extent where they have to build up a certain level of confidence right so it is very hard on them um it's a form of bullying and it's a form of um abuse right where for the most part 
you know again these catered to centered individuals are really don't know how to deal with these things and um at the same time you know it's a whole culture you know that is disturbing because even recently a young man and a, and a group of kids you know they are all kids but a, a group of kids have been sentenced or tried are being tried as adults for murder because a young man in the same age group was defending another friend of bullying right and god knows to what extent the bullying went but at this particular incident it became a confrontation and the young man was uh you know sticking up for his friend ended up getting beaten very badly by the other group of young men who were students at a particular school and he ended up dying so now these young men are being identified and charged with murder so again we don't know oh to what extent because most likely 9 times out of 10 <clears throat> excuse me 9 times out of 10 those situations involve some kind of um online activity and uh, is very direct you know very direct and personal so again deep fear now and in whichever level it escalate you know we have to be very careful in how it's presented and um you know for some reason or another AI is being used to deceive and to uh, corrupt and people have to be very careful with this thing because you know it's just uh, uh it can end up to be a catastrophe put it that way so you know we are in this time yeah we are in this time and these are the times where where you know you have to hold on to old time values you know and you have to really um stick to old time teaching because it's not being taught again too tough you know people ignore it because you know i'm saying they think they know everything you know society think they know everything and the people who have money and all these things they feel the way they feel because they believe in the bank book so overall i mean we can really change how people feel but we can try to at least inject a thought of understanding right so you must you know realize that these things are out here don't go crazy right because the real is still the real and the fake is still the fake but to discern right which one is real and which one is fake that is the key and then obviously to what extent right i i send congratulation to the parents who actually uh took it to the next level to try to protect the young people's innocence and um kudos to you know law enforcement who see that there is a problem that need to be addressed because again we don't we know that bullying is a is a serious problem it's a serious problem i know it has crossed over into technology and um we don't need another 
situation right we don't need another situation to really address this problem we just need people to see that it is a problem and that it needs to be addressed so i'm telling you you know it is one of those situations so we have to stay in prayer right and we have to stay informed right because those of you who are parents and grandparents you have to address this at some point you know whether you 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 know you say you're okay but it is a culture it is a school environment and then also it is escalating outside of school environment into adult affairs and we have to know how to handle these things and you know other countries are noticing it and they are taking action so the responsibility on the high end is yes those people in charge who make the laws but then also the responsibility fall on the low end to the everyday people who want a better place and who are um, seeking a better and brighter future. Hey, this is Italis One. I give thanks to you. Happy holidays. Everybody, go like and share and subscribe. Go to YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Click the like button. Leave a comment. And tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm out. <laughs>